Raina, I'm logging in with your ID here. Okay. And it works. See, the fact that it is doing some handshake, it is doing some handshake, background, there is that hourglass, it means it is doing some authentication. Okay, I got it. It will bring it Thank up. Thank you. People log in with the same uh, ID and password at the same time. That's a good question. You can, but the problem is whosoever is the person who stays last will override the previous person's work. Okay, so she said we is going to log in now. She's going to try. So that's what I asked. Artish? Yes? Vasanthi. Yes, Vasanthi. Oh, You're not able to log in? The yeah. Your username will be 70 underscore Vasanthi, V-A-S-A-N-T-H-I. One second. And you will be able to log in. Now if I refresh this, I see Diana logged in. And she's logging in from a system that's outside. Rena is logging in from another system which is outside. These are the ones who are within our local area network. So this gives me information for my system users, what they are doing. And I think using this, did you see anything come up? You should see, well, it should come up. Unless the communicator is banned, which means the communicator may not have been enabled in this, but if it is here, you will be able to see it. Now, let's go on to the site analysis. Here we go and see on Sunday, 1st of April, Fool's Day, there is one active license that is being used. Right? So now, let's get into my project. Did I create a project for myself? I'm not sure. No, it's not. All of you have access to my project. So anything that you want to look at, you can log in with your ID into my project. Ashish, uh, this is Nupur. I had a question. Go ahead. Uh, the URL that you gave us um, uh, for the for logging onto the quality center server, uh, do I need to do it on here yeah, this one? So um, I mean, I go to the internet browser and put in this URL, or uh, how else would I do it? I have one laptop. It's just this one laptop that I'm working on. So this laptop, are you connected to the remote desktop that has been shared to you from Amol? Earlier this morning, I was not able to download the quality center from this uh, from this uh, from Coach. Um, so I'm not sure if that is why I'm not able to log in. If you are connected to the VMware or to a remote desktop, which is 7000 series, do not use that browser window. Use a new browser window in your laptop, and in that browser window, write this URL. You should be able to open quality center. Sandhya here, I'm, I'm not able to connect to this site. Okay, let's see, your user is here, Sandhya. Let me just try logging in with your ID. Yeah, you should be able to log in. 
So I'm getting connected with your user ID as I am showing you on screen. You should be able to connect. Which one? Are they 4:22 p.m. So these two timings? Uh, now it is uh, maybe after the session change. Well, it depends. Your local system, your local laptop, and your server may not be in the same time. Okay. That's the problem because your user can modify this time on their local desktop, okay. but they cannot change the system time, right? You can have discrepancy. That's not a problem. That's not an issue actually. I'm logging out of this here. So somehow your project is active. All you need to do is just get the right URL, which is given here, and you can use this to access it. Okay? Okay. Okay. I'll try it. Okay. Try it again, please. Thank you. So now I'm going into my project to help you build something interesting. Why is it showing your name? Why is it not showing my name here? Oh, but I've added myself to 70 as well. Oh, you know what? I have not associated users to that. I've associated myself to Fuzzle's project. That's wrong. Ashish? Yep. I'm Vasanti. I'm unable to see my project. I, it is just displaying a quality center screen. It is showing something like this. It's not showing you the user credentials. Same here. Yeah, Rekha here. Same. What is the, what is the problem? Are you getting some, are you getting this part of the screen or not? No, no. Uh, it's just loading. Yeah, it's going to take some time to load because there are a lot of components that need to be downloaded before Quality Center can actually start for you. Okay? I tried it using remote desktop, but uh, I didn't make it out yesterday. I am not sure. You were trying to access the remote desktop and work with that? Yes. Yesterday I did it, but uh, and what I'm able to? Yes. No, yesterday you didn't have the application available for you because I have not created anything. Now it is created. You should be able to see it. Ashish? Yep. Uh, where should I see my project? I just display the quality center screen with all the tools, management requirements. That means you're logged in. What yeah. you're seeing here, as, as you see on my project, you should see your domain batch 70. You should see project yeah. and your project here. And you should see user as 70 underscore your username. Yes. You see that? That means you are already connected yeah. to Quality Center now. Okay. So what you are seeing on the screen is what you would get when you are logged in into the system. So these are the various modules that are available here. The first one is management, in which you will coordinate your releases. 
a release is a collection of various requirements that are bundled together and roll out for example you will have a e-commerce application like amazon rolled out which has various features so amazon.com point 1 is your first release after that there are some changes that go into the application let's say you can now ship your goods by multiple carriers instead of using only one carrier so that's the release 1.1 which means there is a change that you've done to the application and now you have a new release similarly there will be release 1.1 1.2 1.3 and so on and so forth and at some point in time it will become release 2 so when you look at a major switch from release 1 to release 2 it means it's a major upgrade that has been done to the system when you're looking at dot 1 dot 2 that means those are updates but small changes in the application it could be enhancements it could be new features but from 1.0 to 2.0 that means you've done a major change in the application that's the convention in the industry you can also follow 1.1 to 1.199 no one cares so for as you can logically understand what is going on in each bill right then we we'll look at the next segment which is talking about requirements this segment or this module that you are seeing here will allow you to generate your business requirements your business requirements will be let's say security right under security we will have requirements which will state valid user can have access to the system for invalid attempts user will have to open a new session these are all requirements right they will go in here in this part of the application based on that you will now start working on your test plan right so let's do our basic steps Is someone logged into my project? Because if you are logged into my project, I will be disabled. That's what's happening here. Why you have added a table also under your? I just kept it open. I have now given access to everyone. I have created access to Fazil project as well. Just as an example, a user can have access to multiple projects in the same domain. It's just another example that I wanted to share with you. So let's go here, and it's it's quite possible that because I'm logged in here, it is not letting me do it. 